Hello, um, I am in the park today doing some of my reading. So uh, yeah, I thought I would do a quick update on all of my reading stuff. Um, I hope it's not too windy. It's a little bit windy, but not much. Um, anyway, I have one, two, three, four, five books that I've read in the past couple weeks, two weeks, something like that. Um, so yes, uh, what I have finished um, is over on this side. Um, <laughs> I first, uh, ugh, yeah, um, so I finished reading Ender's Game, um, which was awesome. That, that was an awesome book. I think what made the book for me was like the last two, three chapters um, where you kind of realize just how mind fucked uh, these people were mind fucking him. Um, <laughs> and then kind of what he did with it, I thought it was really cool. So I finished that and I loved it. That was a really good one. So I also started reading, a friend loaned me um, A War of Gifts, uh, which is, um, it takes place while um, Ender's at battle school and it's just kind of like a, it's a really short read, like less than 200 pages and I read it in about two hours. It was uh, pretty good. Um, not as in-depth as Ender's Game, but near as in-depth, but it was just kind of like a little extra chapter kind of to the book, so it was kind of interesting. So I read that. Um, and then also I finished Breakfast with Buddha. So that was actually really good. Um, I have a whole bunch of pages marked and highlighted and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to read that one again um, at some point because there's a lot of things in it, a lot of things that you kind of have to think on and all that kind of stuff. So that one I really enjoyed and I recommend that one. That one has um, a lot of good ways of saying things. So I enjoyed that one. Um, I also read um, I read a Monster Calls which was awesome. I teared up a few times so I, I like it when books make me tear up and get that emotional about, um, about the story. Um, I think the main part that made it for me though were the illustrations that went along with the book. Uh, they, I think they were all done in charcoal, at least it looks like it, but they're, um, they were really good. <laughs> uh, and they moved the story along really well, so I enjoyed that. Um, I also read, um, A Witch in Love, which is the second in the, uh, Winter Trilogy. I think it's three. Um, and that one was also good. It was, sorry, <laughs> kind of suck at this. I'm going to go that way. Um. Yeah, so it's the second in the trilogy, and uh, this one had a lot more action and a lot more detail, and um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> kind of kind of the premise of the series is that it's this girl who uh, used to live in London, and she moves to a town called Winter, um, kind of like a really small like seaside town, and she finds out that she is a witch and has like magical powers and all that kind of stuff, so it wasn't really explained too well in the first book, like why it never showed itself before. Um, so in the second book, it shows a lot more about it, and um, she starts kind of understanding some of her history and kind of some of her, her mom's history, which comes into play a lot. Um, and I think one of the best scenes was when she was, um, I don't want to give a whole lot away, but um, she's, <laughs> I don't know how to say it without giving anything away, uh, but pretty much she is at one point locked in, like, a dungeon, like a prisoner thing, and actually like shackled in this, um, I, what was it called? I think it was called like a witch's harness or something like that. But pretty much it's like, it, it's like what horses have, like a bit, like an iron bit through her mouth. or So she, you know, could barely drink, could barely eat, couldn't speak, and uh, they kept drugging her and all that kind of stuff. But it was, um, I think that was really good. That was a really good part of the book. Um, and it was really well described, so I enjoyed it. Um, what I'm reading right now, I'm reading six, six, six books, um, with a possible seventh coming. I want to read, um, The Perks of Being a Wallflower before the movie comes out. So that one I might be starting pretty soon as well, but I might be able to finish some of these before, um, before I add that one. I'm not sure. So, um, what I've been mostly reading today is this one, uh, J.A. Jantz's Betrayal of Trust. Um, I mentioned it in the, in the, bleh, I think in the last video. Um, but I love her books completely, and uh, most of them take place like in Seattle, so it's kind of like a little bit of home. Um, they they keep mentioning uh, <laughs> my favorite crepe place in Bellevue, and so that kind of is like I want crepes now. 
Um, but then you read more into it and you're like, no, I don't want crepes because it's a really disturbing book. Uh, pretty much it's um, a husband and wife team that are on the special homicide investigation team. So shit. <laughs> yeah, special homicide investigation team. Uh, so that's a pretty good acronym that they call delight in, in the books, which I enjoy. Um, I am also reading Homer's Odyssey, not the classic one, this one. Um, it's about a, um, a gal who gets a call from one of her vets and says that, um, that you know, a uh, cat was dropped off and it turns out that, you know, both of his eyes were um, not doing so well, so they ended up taking out both of his eyes, uh, but he needs a good home and nobody wants to take him because he's a cat with disabilities and things like that, so she ends up taking him in and pretty much learning a lot that he's pretty much just a, a normal cat and you know he can play and run around and do all that kind of stuff and um, there's also a part in it uh, she lives in New York and this took place during like around the times of um, September 11th so her cat was actually stuck in the apartment for quite a few days and thankfully she was able to get him back um, but it's, it's really good actually for a lot of like the animal books I don't always like, but this one is really good, so I recommend that one. Uh, also reading Leaving Unknown. Um, this one just kind of caught my eye just because I like road trip books and things like that, and so obviously this one is. It's um, a gal who is moving from the East Coast over to California to live with a friend of hers, and, um, and she has this thing with um, like towns that are named weird. Um, what are some of the ones? Um, Sweet Lips, Tennessee, Toad Suck, Arkansas, Oakley, ugh, OK, Oklahoma, and Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Um, so on her drive over to California, she ends up um, having her car break down outside of unknown Arizona. So she ends up um, kind of you know, holding up in this town while she um, works off her car getting fixed. So she's working in the town to be able to pay the mechanic to fix the car so she can finish her trip. So it's kind of about all the people she meets and things like that in the town. So it's pretty good so far. I'm liking it. Um, and then I also started reading the second in the Ender series, which is Speaker for the Dead. So this one follows Ender. Um, I also want to read... Um, Ender in Exile and all that kind of stuff too, but uh, the friend that I keep borrowing, the um, Orson Scott card books, uh, doesn't have that one right now. So I'm reading Speaker for the Dead. Uh, so far it's, um, I haven't gotten very far in that one, I think I'm only like 10 or 20 pages in. Um, it's, it's, it's a very different premise, I will give it that. Um, Ender hasn't come into play yet right now, they're watching some other characters and all that kind of stuff. Um, but right now pretty much they're... Um, they, they found life, you know, humanoid kind of life or intelligent life or whatever on a new planet and so they're trying not to screw it up like they did um, at the end of Ender's Game. And so they're, uh, it sounds like they're just kind of studying them like with a really small amount of people on the planet and so that's kind of where I am is just meeting a few of the people there. So that one's good. Um, on the Kindle I am reading um, Off With Their Heads which is uh, the prequel to the Alice in Deadland series, which I read, or, yeah. Um, so that one's more about, like, Dr. Protima, uh, Protima and, um, and the other government people who kind of tipped her off to stuff and when the outbreak starts. So uh, that one has been pretty good. I think I'm not quite halfway through that one yet, but I like it. Um, I might be certain to like it more than I do the, the Alice series, but... I'm not sure. So for the second, the second is um, my favorite, and then um, this one's coming up a good second to a possible tie to the second. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm also reading Children of the Fog. That one I haven't gotten very far in yet either, um, but it already it, in the prologue it starts off with um, with a, a mother of a abducted abducted child. Um, putting a gun to her head while the ghosts of the abducted children are hanging out around her. So I'm thinking that one might be good. <laughs> so uh, I'm working on that one. So pretty much that is what I'm reading and what I have read. And I will update you guys when I get some more books done.
Okay, bye.